Hello, in this video we'll be looking at setting up progressive web apps on your Chromebook. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you may have heard me talk about progressive web apps previously. A progressive web app or PWA is essentially an application that runs inside a browser and they're very good compared to just running something with inside a browser, for example. And also they're most likely going to be a better option than using an Android app alternative. But it's all trial and error. Now on this video, I'm going to show you some things that work fine sometimes and then other times they don't, why they don't, what it could be, just because obviously people may have different issues when looking at setting up PWAs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just first of all explain Progressive Web App like I says, it is essentially it installs an app so once it's installed you then get an icon you can use from your Chrome OS app launcher down here for example, but it's essentially it just takes you to a browser, but it's, it's, it's done in an application based way and it's just a lot more stable and it's definitely the way forward compared to just using something inside a browser or using an Android app on a Chromebook because Android apps are great, don't get me wrong, and they're great on Android tablets, Android phones, and some of them are good on Chromebooks, but other ones aren't so great. So that's why you'd want to install a progressive web app. Not all websites are going to have a progressive web app to install because it's down to the people who create the websites to create a progressive web app for it. So don't expect it for any sort of website you can just use progressive web app. The app actually needs to be created by the people who have created the website. So I'm just going to show you a few here then. So Spotify for example, now you will have to bear, forgive me on this, this is Spotify as an Android um, app. So if we open this up, you will see there's nothing showing on here. Now, this is one of the reasons why sometimes Android apps aren't that great. Um, this is on this particular Chromebook. I've never been able to get the Android version of Spotify to work, but it works on my other Chromebook. So that's something I know people have mentioned in comments before. You've done this, but I can't work it on mine. It's just sometimes how it works, unfortunately. But as you can see with Android apps, they always will give you the phone option, the tablet option, like that, and the resizable option, like that. And when you click on resize, they, it will always say, this app is designed for mobile and may not resize well, and that's fine. But generally speaking, if I was using this on one of my other Chromebooks, I would have Spotify now showing, and this is an Android app and that's fine. Why it, it's it's okay, but some of the problems you have is it's hard to move the track along and stuff like that, and that's all because it's set to be used as a phone or a tablet. So in this instance, I would rather install a progressive web app of Spotify, and the good thing is Spotify do have a progressive web app. So I'll just close that down and then go to your browser. And again, here, I'll quickly go to Google because I've just got onto there. We go back to that. Again, one thing you've got to bear in mind, I've just been having a look at this before shoot, the shooting the video, as you can just see that was on Spotify. When I first opened up um, Google and I went to spotify.com like that, this wasn't the screen I, I was seeing. And I haven't logged in or anything. It was a different screen. Um, it was more gray and it had some login options. But it's obviously now going to here. So bear in mind you may have that. And on that occasion, I didn't have the chance to install a PWA. But like I says, I didn't do anything on that screen. But when I closed it back down and opened it back up, Spotify went to there. So I've, the reason I'm saying that and showing you this is don't always think when I'm doing a video that you're going to see exactly the same thing when you're doing it yourself. But what I want to do here is to show you, I haven't logged in, um, but I just want to show you here, you'll notice up here, this here, and this is open in app. And why it's showing that is because it's meaning basically open it up in your Android app rather than having it in your browser. 
but I don't really like the Spotify Android app on a Chromebook. I want to install the PWA. So to install the PWA, you simply need to look for this icon here on the browser and that installs Spotify and that will install the PWA. So you click on that, install, and that's it. That's the PWA installed instantly it's then that's it so now it's a PWA much better first of all as you can see I can see Spotify whereas if I opened it up on the Android app I can't but don't get wrong some Chromebooks you might be able to do that but essentially PWAs are just more stable so that's why I would recommend installing the PWA instead um, one thing I would say if you do install a PWA what I would do is then get rid of the Android app because if you don't you've got two and it's hard to know which one's which I think that's the Android app there no see so that's the PWA so if I open up the Android app I think it's that one yeah so that's the Android app so what I would do is I think it's that black one there let's check yeah it's that one so I'm just going to click on there right click on it and uninstall. Now I'm going to show you another one because someone left a comment about this um, and I had a look and I think I know what it was. So they wanted to install a PWA on the office. This is already PWA because I've opened it there. So you'd have to go to the browser, just type in office.com. So now I'm using it outside of the PWA just from the browser. This was a bit more fiddly, if I'm being honest with you. If you went to office.com and you had not installed the PWA like I have there, you should have seen that icon that we had a look at earlier where you installed the PWA. If you don't, then you could try refreshing and then sometimes it shows. But then one thing I did notice, and the problem is when I noticed it, I obviously had to click on it to see whether that fixed it and it did but I can't recreate that for you now because I've done it. But essentially, for example, I went on to, the reason why this isn't showing to install it, by the way, is because I've already got it installed. That explains that. But then, for example, Outlook, if we went to Outlook, now Outlook, and again, it's doing it here, which is good because it shows it's quite intermittent. Outlook was not showing the option to install a PWA. Um, now, if we refresh, then you can see that it is. However, it's not just as clear cut as that. When I had that problem, I hit refresh and I still couldn't see that there. But I, what I did have, there was a few little circles and I hovered over them and it had something like Outlook or Microsoft wants to install some, I can't even remember the exact wording if I'm, if I'm being honest with you, I'm afraid, something like object handlers or something like that. And it was just a case of me clicking on that, clicking enabled, and then when I refreshed the browser, it then gave me the option to install the PWA. And I'm showing you this just to show you that it can sometimes be a bit fiddly, a bit hit and miss. But if you wanted to install Outlook as a separate PWA, you can do then, and you just simply click on that, click that, and on here it actually said it's a PWA, but that is what they will always be when you click on there, click on that, and then you've got Outlook with inside a PWA. Look very similar, but they just work much better with inside a PWA rather than um, the browser. So if you now go to your Chrome OS Start menu, you'll see you've got Outlook there as well, and Office, both of them PWAs, and I could obviously, if I wanted to, pin that to shelf, and then I've got a separate one for Outlook, like that, okay? Yeah, so PWAs are just a way forward compared to using an Android app, certainly for things like Spotify. I did look at some of us like iPlayer, unfortunately, I don't think iPlayer has a PWA. It states there is one, but I couldn't find it, so I know a lot of people have had problems with using iPlayer on Android, um, couldn't find one unfortunately. If you haven't got any PWAs installed and you've got Android app versions and you're not thinking the Android app works that great, have a look to see if they've got a PWA. 
easiest way is just to go to their website address generally log in first and then log into your account and then download the pwa from there i hope you liked this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching